Hi, my question's for the Premier. Um, with 52 women already killed this year and the stress on the community and um, the struggle to change the culture of ignorance when it comes to domestic violence, do you intend to implement any more of the recommendations from the Domestic and Family Violence Task Force? And um, if so, how effective will they be given that um, the Queensland budget only allocated $31.3 million over four years to domestic violence? Thanks, Casey. That's a very good question. <laughs> It was actually an issue that was uh, discussed at the COAG meeting last week. And, you know, I, I do commend the fact that the Prime Minister's put it on the agenda, the table, for a national campaign, which I think is very important. But here in Queensland, we had a, a landmark report where Quentin Bryce handed down um, her report into domestic violence and the actions we can take. We've put in $31 million. That's a great first step. Um, we're actually leading compared to other states. We're putting on extra duty lawyers to help women. Our first ever trial of a specialist domestic violence court down at Southport. And if that works out well there, I can see that rolling out to other parts of Queensland and perhaps it can be adopted at a national level. Rosie Batty personally raised that issue with me when I met with her. We want to make it easier for people to go through the court system and not get lost. And we also want to make sure that we have more centres for help and extra support for the DV Help Service. So I think we are leading the way when it comes to the rest of Australia. Of course, more can be done. Just quickly, it is though, unacceptable and we must do more. 140 recommendations from Quentin Bryce's yes. report. How many of those will you implement? Oh, well, we're going through it now for our government response. But, uh, do you, you imagine know, all it'll them be seem... the majority? Yeah, yeah, I do, actually, because most of them are quite reasonable. And... Quentin Bryce went around Queensland and listened to first-hand stories of people. And you don't get any, anything more real than listening to women tell their stories about having to flee domestic violence, the impact on their children. And let's face it, um, you know, you can, never, you can never escape it. It's always going to be with mm. you um, through the rest of your life. But as a government, we are taking it very seriously. And I believe that at a national level, it's being taken seriously. And Rosie Batty is being uh, very um, out, outspoken and passionate. And people are finally taking, uh, taking, um, taking notice. But we also need to look at education as well. We need to change culture and change attitudes. And that starts in the school. It is about respect and it's about equality. It is about treating women equally at that early age. And if we can start doing that, as I said last week, we can change attitudes, we can change culture, and we can change our nation.